Um, all right, welcome internet to, uh, to Sean Gardner. The, uh, Sean is the new Everesting record holder. Sean, what was your time? Because I don't even want to say it. Uh, below seven hours, something, <laughs> something close to that. <laughs> I it's think like it was 6 like 6.59 something, yeah. Crazy. The, uh, well, so tell me a little bit about yourself first. Uh, Virginia, just, yeah, give me, give us a quick bio for folks. You know, like, they're, for, respectfully, you're not as famous as Contador. Yeah, um, not quite. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, from Richmond, Virginia, uh, where Worlds was a few years ago. Um, born and raised here, went to college at Virginia Tech. Uh, been riding bikes since college. Yep. It was kind of a, a running background. Um, yeah. Cool. I guess and that's kind of it. Uh, <laughs> it's, yes, you summarize your life in yeah. bikes. The, uh, <laughs> it's a it's a cool scene there. The uh, so you got like uh, your Ben Kings, Jeremiah Bishops, who am I missing? Yeah. Dombrowski, right? What's uh you you ride with those guys? Or I mean, obviously they're they're everywhere, but uh, yeah, they're definitely doing their uh, the world tour stuff now. But yeah, yeah. a couple uh, up and coming guys, Eddie Anderson. Uh, oh right, of course couple couple hitters that maybe aren't on uh teams but they're out there knocking on the strava so okay yeah got a yeah. good good set of riders here got I've the, heard it's the a good masters strava riders season. too <laughs> <laughs> um no, that's that's very cool and then the uh so this so you're generally like you you're high level amateur racer right what's your team yeah currently on cs velo uh we kind of just do the the prt domestic racing scene mm -hmm. mostly Okay, so this year, obviously, that doesn't that doesn't yeah, which on. doesn't exist. So, <laughs> so what? Uh, so so Everesting hit you like kind of did everybody else. When did when did it kind of first get on your radar? Um, and and tell me about that kind of process. Yeah, so it was really kind of a last minute thing. Um, you know, I've always heard of Everest. Like you guys have been doing it for a while. Yeah. Uh, Contador put up a time like <laughs> earlier this year, yeah. but uh yeah i really just saw it. like a couple of my teammates did it not too long ago and saw that and uh it was like maybe two or three weeks ahead and i was like yeah i'll give that a go there's a super <laughs> steep climb that i knew of around here and i was yep. like yeah seems fun i guess that was the one you did like a month ago right yeah mm -hmm. the first one you did i i saw somebody tag me on instagram it might be, you tag me but the uh i was looking at i think it was like 12 percent yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, it was it was steep, but not as insanely steep as you need for the record. Except you did a ridiculous time, and I was looking at, at your power. I was like, "Oh shit, he's gonna break the record." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "If he finds the right hill, which I don't know if that exists around there," um, and uh, uh, but you you clearly had the legs. The because uh, you were just doing. Um, here's the thing: the part where I like I ask about your your everything thing it looks like i'm i'm trying to cheat to beat you except it's all on strava so it doesn't matter <laughs> you're just doing like three tens all day yeah this past one i did pretty much three ten right around there pretty much the whole time yeah the first time i went out i went out a little too hard and really hit the wall towards the end there the last yeah. couple hours okay you were doing 320s there yeah the uh so what what was what was your what made you look for this hill like what what kind of clicked in that um well the first time i did it uh honestly that was just the steepest hill i could think of around here without driving like 10 hours so right. Fair enough. um jeremiah bishop recommended this climb to me i'd never been over here it's like two hour drive away from me it's kind of okay. out in the back of nowhere it's it's a dead end road, um, but cyclists can head up to the Blue Ridge Parkway on it. So oh. there wasn't a lot of traffic on it, which was ideal. Uh, there was a little turn in it that you had to brake for on the descent. Yeah, I'm looking but at that. Mostly straight. And that's kind of near the bottom, so maybe you're maybe you're braking anyway there. Yeah, I, you kind of broke and then coasted a little bit more and then finally okay. broke. But I, I mean, I don't think you would lose more than a couple seconds on it. Right. No, I get that. It's a, uh, yeah, that's, that's the, the weird tricky part is, is finding that right hill. But, uh, yeah. so yours isn't even perfect. I think if you went to Ireland, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, might, you might find another minute or two. Yeah. Um, very cool. And then, uh, and your bike didn't look like you geeked out at all. No, I zero <laughs> geeking out. I took off one of the bottle cages, but yeah, besides that, that's, uh, that's barely qualifies as geeking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just pretty stock bike. Uh, honestly, I just didn't have uh, the resources to chop off my handlebars or 
They don't have saws uh, in Virginia. <laughs> well, well, they do, they but saw. I don't have the money to to uh, <laughs> to buy the saw or to replace okay. those handlebars. <laughs> oh, that makes more sense. Okay, it's ten <laughs> handlebars. The um, so disc brakes full on. Talk about your setup a little bit, just for folks who aren't aware. Yeah, so it's the Cannondale Super Six Evo. Um, race wheels on it. Uh, Altegra Di Two. So it's a you know a really nice race bike. Sure. Um, 17 18 pounds maybe uh okay <laughs> somewhere around that range i don't know um yeah uh yeah it's a super nice race bike but um yeah maybe not the the um illegal right. uci bike that would be for, for a hill climb yeah i mean that just sounds well your version sounds less fun to be honest but uh <laughs> but that's cool but at least you have drop bars ronan's thing he he cut his bars off and i was just like i don't want to, when i'm going down a hill at 50 miles an hour plus i want something to pull the brakes against oh yeah um, honestly i don't know how he did it with rim brakes like i was full <laughs> on like i really wanted disc brakes on that yeah yeah, the very the very end, like you're, I don't know what his uh what his brakes is. He might have had aluminum uh braking surface or something. Uh, the uh maybe not. Yeah, I, I you know I don't know what goes on over there. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably fewer cars on his road. Yeah. But uh, that's very cool. So you're gonna try it again. You're gonna try and shave a, a couple minutes. Or are you good? Uh, well, I'm I'm probably good for now. Uh, <laughs> Until yeah, someone uh, goes faster. Yeah, I'll probably let someone else beat it first and then maybe contemplate probably not doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone says they don't want to do it again. At least that was mine. And then over a couple of weeks, I was like, yeah, I got another one in me. Except it's been yeah. for like eight months to get around to it. I mean, that's what I said the first time. I wasn't going to do it again, but then give it a couple of days and you're back out there. Again. Yeah, that's good to know. I, like, I looked at your powers like, oh, he has to do it again. Yeah. Um, so Honestly, this time was a lot uh easier than last time last time i was pretty cracked those last two hours this time i didn't really crack until the final couple laps so yeah mentally i wasn't like demoed at the end i was just knowing your pace yeah okay and what do you weigh that's going to be a question for, mm. you know, for me i think yeah well so i don't have a scale but i would say probably like <laughs> 140 to 145 ish okay. somewhere around there yeah, so so basically, you're just doing crazy power for uh, for not weighing much, um, which is kind of the trick to Everesting. That's uh that would be the key. There's all the there's all the bike dorking. And there's just like the, or you could just smash pretty good power all day. Yeah, um, that happens when you go uphill. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, you you I I don't think you were below. I'm just looking at his laps on Strava. You made your own segment for this. It looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking at the laps, and it's just like. 300 300 you didn't go below 300 until like maybe the last hour or so yeah um, and it's not like you dipped bad so yeah it's just like a, a perfectly paced effort for a uh, a skinny guy <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, yeah i mean so things. gearing i was a little over geared i used a 36 30 and so i uh i think i worked out the numbers i i was standing for five and a half hours Ooh. out of the seven hours because I had to stand for probably uh, like six minutes out of the seven minute climb. So I think uh, that actually helped pace it even because I didn't really have the option to go slower at all. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. That's, that's, that's very uh, Contador-esque. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to like choose the gears of whatever is easy enough that will allow me to sit down. Um, Cause that, that sounds kind of impossible what you just said, except you did it. So maybe it's not. Yeah, I mean, I've always been more of a standing type climber, but okay. yeah, I mean, I will say my, my arms were more sore than my legs afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that all makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right, very cool. That's, uh, that's it, 659. That's, that's all I got, man. That's uh, cool. Congrats. You're crazy. Very impressive. And, uh, and that you've, you've just lowered the bar or, or you've raised the bar by lowering the bar. I'll have to work that out um <laughs> but, it is lower but it's also higher yeah yeah it's tricky um but uh yeah thanks for talking and cool. uh yeah congrats dude good job thanks yeah